Hi guys, welcome back to Sam Gates. Today we are going to install Azus Merlin firmware for Azus routers. First thing you want to do is head on to sourceforge.net. I'll leave the web address at the bottom. You can find your find your router down here. So the one we are using today is the RT and we are going to go to release and we're going to download the most recent one. So click there and we gotta wait for it to download and save as we'll go to downloads and save and once it's done you want to open it up unzip it extract all click on the extract button there and there you have it so every firmware is different. Sometimes you need to change the the firmware. So we'll read the README there. And it doesn't say that we have to rename it. So this file here is the one that is the firmware. So let's close that browser, close that browser, and then go log into your Azus router. The default is 192.168.505, uh, sorry, dot one. And we're gonna go down to administrations on the left hand side. And at the top, we are going to go to Firmware Upgrade. And then we're going to come down here to the AI Mesh Rotor. And we're going to click Upload. And we're going to find where we put the download. So I believe this was it. Nope. This one's it. So just go ahead and find your firmware that you just downloaded. Click OK. And wait for it to load. Now you don't have to worry about saving any settings when you install or upgrade a firmware. The settings are already set. It reinstalls the settings for you. So no need to worry if you're gonna lose all your all your Mac filtering or your your DNS settings or anything like that. And then once it's complete it should say reboot your router manually. So just go ahead and press the power button on the back of the router. Okay, so we'll just press the power button off and on and let that load. We'll just wait for it to connect to the 2G and 5G network. And once you see those on, just wait for the internet light to come on to say that we have internet. There we go. And then it'll ask you to sign in. So go ahead and sign in. And then once you log in, you should see that we have the Azus Merlin firmware. So it's as simple as that. Don't forget to click to subscribe. Bye-bye.